In this news at 11, the future of one of the oldest high school football programs here in western New York has been decided. Fredonia will continue an ongoing trend, merging its football program with Brockton Westfield. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is in Fredonia, where that decision was made just a few hours ago. Jeff and Ashley, a vote tonight came after a lengthy discussion period on both sides of this issue. Ultimately, in the end, there will be football for students at Fredonia, but there still is a lot to work out. Relieved is my initial reaction. Um, it, it, the community has been outstanding. Tim Wright has been an offensive line coach for the Fredonia High School football team for a decade. To him, football is family, and he's happy that family can grow and stay together. So we're really looking forward to getting the three coaching staffs together and and to start planning uh, this this new family that we're going to have. The Fredonia School Board voted to merge its football program with nearby Brockton and West. Field districts due to the decline in kids signed up to play. But before that happened, school board president Michael Bobstein voiced his opposition, which centered around health and safety issues that are commonly associated with the sport. We are impairing the brains of our children who are playing football. The research is there. You can't deny it. It's there. We're going to get sued if something happens. School Superintendent Paul DeFonzo says he understands the health risks, but believes parents should be able to make their own decisions. They should be able to make an informed decision on any sport because every sport has an inherent risk involved and decide whether or not they want to play football. And Dee Crampton, whose two sons played football for Fredonia, agrees. I think those concerns are valid. I think they're out there. They're there for every parent to see and for every parent to make an informed decision for their own children. This is the football field that Fredonia has played at. I talked to the athletic director who tells me the next step in this process is meeting with the other schools and deciding where practices and games will be held for next season. I'm in Fredonia tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.